when she was pursuing her education, bioengineer Negin Majidi became convinced that advances in immunotherapy would one day allow doctors to treat cancer effectively. You could actually recruit body's immune cells and work on body's natural capability of being able to clear the tumor uh, in order to get rid of the cancer cells. So that was super exciting for me. Iranian-born Majidi and her bioengineer husband, Mahdi Hassani, are now part of an interdisciplinary team of medical and engineering researchers at the University of California, Los Angeles. The group has developed SymphNote, a tiny biodegradable sponge-like device about the size of a pencil eraser. Made of a polymer called alginate, the device is implanted or injected into a tumor. From there, it releases a drug that generates a better immune response than the body can do on its own, according to the researchers. It's like a, like a local training gene. So it will bring the cells and they'll train them so when they are leaving the device, they are like a, so ready to go and fight like a, the local tumor. The idea, says UCLA immunology professor Manish Butte, who mentored Majidi during her research, is to block the regulatory T cells that police cancer-fighting killer T-cells. This really opens up an avenue for having the immune system attack all kinds of cancers, not just breast cancers, but every kind of solid tumor. SymphNode has been tested on mice with breast cancer, showing tumors shrinking in 80% of mice and preventing the spread of cancer in 100% of them. The researchers hope to launch clinical trials in 2024. Jenny Adulo for VOA News, Los Angeles.